Today's video will explain how to use a UML component diagram to design a system. Hello, I'm James Helfrich. The UML component diagram is a useful tool for drafting out an entire system design without getting bogged down in minutia of detail. This video will explain that purpose with two examples. So our first example is a familiar client server. And we're going to create a component diagram describing the following scenario. A simple web server hosts the results of a simple database query. This page is displayed on the client's browser. I have two popular server stacks, the LAMP, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, and WISA, Windows, ISS, SQL Server, and ASP.NET. Now we'll use WISA. So we have the server, which is going to have a provided interface. In other words, the server does just fine if there's no clients, and there could be many clients. So therefore, it's provided. The client has a single required interface, requires a server. The client cannot function without the server. We're going to use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript as our interface. And notice that the server does have a well-defined port, port 20, and the client has a well-defined port, port 21. This is one of those rare cases when the port is actually named, not just the interface that uses the port. Now, the client is going to have the operating system, and the operating system is going to then talk to the browser. Notice that the operating system is a provided interface. It could use, it could function just fine without the browser, but the browser requires an operating system. And the browser in this case is going to use Win32. And notice that the operating system does provide a port because this is a well-defined interface that's documented. Now the server, how is the server going to consume and produce HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? Through ASP.NET. Then it's going to use SQL Server. Now, SQL Server provides an interface, and ASP.NET requires it. In other words, I could use other applications for SQL Server besides ASP.NET, but ASP requires SQL. And this is going to be a port, and that port is defined by the SQL interface. Now, ISS is going to also provide an interface that SQL is going to consume, and this ISS, IIS sorry, provides a port. And then Windows is going to provide a port as well, in this case, Win32. Okay, here's an, another example. I want to play some music through my car. Now, there are three main components, the car, the phone, and the music service, each of which has several some components. So the car is a component, the phone is a component, and the music service is a component. Now, notice that the phone provides an interface which the car or a Bluetooth speaker or a variety of other accessories could consume or not, but in order for the car's music to work, it does require a phone. And the music service provides an interface, which the phone can pick up, or a web app, or a variety of other different tools. But for the phones to play music, it requires a music service. Now, let's talk about the music service. We need to store the song someplace, and that's going to be some data store, probably a database, but it could be a variety of other things. And this is going to be a provided interface. In other words, the you can access this data from a variety of locations, and the data store can function just fine without any clients. Now the internet server is going to require the data store and it's going to talk to the phone. Now the phone is going to have an internet client which requires a internet server to in order to work. And then that's going to provide an interface that the music app is then going to consume. Now notice the client's internet connection could provide service to a variety of applications. It could be a web app, could be a, a, a search engine, could be a variety of th different things. But the music app is one of them. Therefore, the internet client is the provided and music app requires it. Now, we need to somehow get the music from the app to the car and we're gonna use Bluetooth for that. Now, the Bluetooth provides an interface that the music app can consume. Notice we can use many things like the phone or a lot of other things could use that same interface. And so the Bluetooth is provided and music app is required. And then the car is also going to have a Bluetooth component as well. And it's going to provide to a variety of different things, one of which is the play service, which is going to operate the speakers. And that requires Bluetooth. This is example 40.1 and 40.2 in the component diagram chapter of the software design textbook.